Officially, the most wonderful time of the year. Yes, it's almost Christmas. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Ooh, is it hot chocolate, cookies, milk? What is it? Ooh, interesting. Well, I love Christmas because we get to remember and celebrate the birth of our Savior. That's right, Jesus Christ. And this story is filled with exciting miracles. Ooh. Are you ready to hear the first part of the story? But before we get started, let's pray. All right. Dearly Father, I thank you so much for today. Lord, I pray that you'll speak to us. I pray that we get to learn from your story. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. One day, God sent an angel named Gabriel to a town called Nazareth. The angel went to visit a young virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married Ooh. with a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. The angel said to Mary, Rejoice! You have found favor with God. He is with you. Mary was afraid and puzzled. Why would God find favor with her? She had done nothing special. Do not be afraid, the angel said. Then he told Mary that she was going to have a very special and unique baby. And they would call the baby mm -hmm, Jesus, which means the Lord saves. The angel explained that the baby would be a great one. He would be God's son. He would be even a king. The king God had promised would come. Mary asked the angel, how can that happen? I am not married yet. The angel replied, God will be the father of the baby. The baby will be God's son. Wow. Then the angel told Mary, Nothing will be impossible with God. He said that Mary's relative Elizabeth was pregnant, even though she was old and did not have any children. May everything happen just as you said, Mary replied. Then the angel left her. While well, Mary hurried to her relative Elizabeth's house, when she arrived, the baby inside Elizabeth leaped for joy. The Holy Spirit filled Elizabeth and she said, What an honor, Mary. Your baby will be blessed too. Mary was so happy. She praised God with a song about how great God is. Mary knew every family in the future would say she was blessed because God was going to do great things for her through Jesus. God was keeping his promise to bless the whole world through Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Well, Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months. Then she went home. Now, Joseph found out Mary was going to have a baby. But Joseph knew it. It was not his baby. And Mary and Joseph were not married yet. But Joseph decided to quietly break his engagement with Mary so she would not be publicly disgraced. Mm. Soon after Joseph thought these things, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, Joseph, the angel said, 
Don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because the baby she is carrying was put there by the Holy Spirit. Mary is going to have a son, name him Jesus, because he is going to save his people from their sins. Mm. This happened just like the prophet said it would. See, the virgin will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they will name him Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did exactly as the angel commanded. He married Mary, and when she had a son, Joseph named him Jesus. Yay! <laughs> Wow, wasn't that amazing, kids? The baby Jesus fulfilled Isaiah's prophecy as well as other Old Testament prophecies about the coming Savior. Through His life, death, and resurrection, Jesus fulfilled God's plan of redemption that God planned from the beginning of the world. Guys, do you remember our key passage? Oh, that's right. Let's do it together. Jesus is with us. Let's say it together, all right? Jesus is with us. Great job! It's quiz time! Now, I'm gonna ask you guys some questions and I need you to shout the answers nice and loud, alright? Alright, <clears throat> first question. Who did God send to visit Mary? A. Was it an angel named Gabriel or was it a white dove? Oh, that's right, Angel Gabriel. All right, second question. What does the name Emmanuel mean? Is it God with us or God is great? Yes, God with us. Great job, kids. Woohoo! Well done, kids. I had so much fun with you all today. Don't forget to join our Zoom classes this afternoon. You can bring your cookies, hot chocolate. I don't know. Make it fun. It's December. But before we go, let's pray. Dearly Father, thank you so much for today. We had so much fun learning about you, Jesus. I pray that you will bless us. You will guide us, protect us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Happy Sunday.